unceremonious and unjudicious use of high doses and long term steroids, cancer patients on chemotherapy, transplant recipients on immunomodulatory therapy, and diabetics with uncontrolled blood sugars are at special high risk of development of this disease. Black fungi or mucormycosis as we know it in the scientific community is an opportunistic fungi, the spores of which are found dispersed in the soil, fruits, vegetables and plants and they have sometimes been even isolated from a nasal and oral cavity. It's an environmental pathogen that is, even if present in the body, it will not lead to a severe disease unless and until you are severely immunocompromised. So what are the risk factors for the development of mucormycosis? Severe COVID-19 infection by virtue of its lymphopenia, that is, a decrease in a cell lineage called lymphocyte, predisposes to the development of a lot of opportunistic infections, mucormycosis being one of them. Unceremonious and unjudicious use of high doses and long-term steroids, cancer patients on chemotherapy, transplant recipients on immunomodulatory therapy, and diabetics with uncontrolled blood sugars are at special high risk of development of this disease. Now, mucormycosis could either be a rhino or bito cerebellar type where it affects your nose, eyes, and the brain, and the symptoms of which could be a blocked nose, a black or greenish discharge from the nasal cavity, blackish discoloration of your cheekbone, swelling and numbness of one side of the face, swelling of the eye, or severe headache or it can manifest as a pulmonary mucormycosis where the symptoms could be chest pain, cough with splitting out of blood and severe fever. Now how do you prevent yourself from developing this infection? First and foremost, please do not self-medicate. Steroids are wonderful drugs if used in the right settings, but if used incorrectly and especially during the first 7 days of the disease that is, the phase of viremia or the phase of viral application, they can prove to be catastrophic. Second, if you are a diabetic or even if you are not and are on steroids, please make sure that your blood sugars are under control. Ideally, they should be below 180 mg per deciliter. Third, an early diagnosis and prompt treatment is very important for this disease. So, if you develop any of the symptoms that I've just enumerated, please reach out to your healthcare provider immediately. Fourth, if you are using a steamer, nebulizer or a humidifier at home, please make sure that the water source is sterile. And fifth, keep wearing those masks. The spore enters our body through our nasal and oral cavity and a mask could be a very effective way to keep it out.